So we're getting a little further along in our voyage here. Um, I'm very happy with it so far. This needs a bit of work. I'm not, I'm not fond of this, what is it, grayish looking pecan or elongated coffee bean or whatever it is. It's not what I want it to be. These shapes, they need a little bit of adjustment, a little bit of, a little bit of grooming, a little bit of organizing, I think, without drawing too much attention to them. Um, you can see what I mean by keeping this somewhat subdued. Originally, I think I'd even mentioned that I would keep the values a little higher here, but no, no, bad idea. We have low values here. That's perfect because we're going to have low values under the canopy, you know, of the leaves or the bat branches of, of these trunks, you know. That's going to be in shadow as well. So we'll have a little bit of shadow here, you know, kitty corner to the, to the lower values here. Perfect. Um, this foreground here, the strong part, uh, the strong part of the foreground, I've gone a little higher in values, but I've kept the colors cold so that you still have the feeling that as long as your temperature on, 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 your, on your subject matter is cool or cold, you have the impression always that it's in the shade, even if the values aren't that low. Because you also need content. I just didn't want everything to be dark here. We, we, need, we needed to have some form and interest and what have you. So I've used some ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, and raw umber, mostly, almost exclusively, uh, and a bit of white, of course, on these rocks. It's just bedrock, you know, maybe a little shot of grassy area here, a bit of a swale here, as, as we can go over this ridge and go down into a ravine behind it, or maybe we stop. There is no path that carries on beyond it. Um, so I might groom this a little bit yet, tonight I might just ignore it this has been done a couple of days ago so it's you know for all intents and purposes this is already dry or rather because it's oil paint you would say it's cured um, okay so that's that's dry we'll just call it dry uh, so there's no point in me addressing that now if I don't have to low value low value next thing I'll probably do then is just go into here with the lower value design the branches and whatever foliage is going to uh, cap uh, these trees, form a bit of a canopy here. Um, then comes the really crucial part, and that is, I have all this drama and interest here. That's great, uh, it's where I want it to be, but what I'm going to have to do is, we know our focal area is here, right? Um, I'm going to need to pull it across the painting a little bit so that from here on, right, from here, this direction is not all sort of soft and pastelish. We need some vibrant strength. We need a few shots of colors like this and like this and like this in, in some form of very thoughtfully designed pattern coming across the painting. Not sure exactly how I'm going to do that yet. They will not be broad strokes, they will be small, smaller dollops of paint creating a design because we can't have all this, all this dramatic framing of a focal area and then a hole in the middle. You know, this has to be strong, maybe not quite as strong as the odd fleck of, of, of power here, but it has to be very intense. So I'm going to do something with that later, don't have to worry about it now. I only worry about things as I have to. I, you know, it's one of those uh, cross that bridge when you come to it sort of thing. So yeah, I guess next, as I said, I'll, I'll play up here, I'll get this in place, and then likely do a little better job of organizing this, and then jump into the final plunge, which is here. But I'm liking the colors, it's a nice warm autumn day. You know, that's our season right now, although where I am is certainly not the most colorful place on earth, but uh, actually right now we're just getting a lot of rain and flooding. <laughs> but yeah, just a quick one, just a quick one. Wanted to uh, show that to you and say hi. So hi. See you next time.